from hurricanes and tropical storms to severe weather outbreaks and tornadoes, crippling snowstorms, destructive wildfires, and catastrophic flooding. This year brought unforgettable impacts from coast to coast. Join us as we count down the top 10 weather events of 2019. Number 10, Hurricane Barry. In mid-July, Barry became a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico. By July 13th, it strengthened to a Category 1 hurricane just before making landfall in Louisiana. Coastal storm surge and inland flash flooding impacted hundreds of communities across several states. Barry produced a total of 16.59 inches of rain in Dierks, Arkansas, making it the state's wettest tropical system on record. Number 9, Arkansas River Flooding. After heavy spring rainfall soaked the Southern Plains and Ozarks, extensive flooding developed along the Arkansas River Basin in late May and early June. Dams were overtopped, levees failed, homes flooded, highways and railroads washed out, and thousands had to be evacuated in Oklahoma and Arkansas. Damages exceeded $1 billion. Number eight, California wildfires. After a hot and dry summer, wildfire conditions developed throughout the fall. In October, powerful offshore winds paired with bone dry conditions and ample fuels in Sonoma County. This led to the Kincaid Fire, the largest of the year, which burned close to 80,000 acres. In Southern California, several rounds of strong winds fueled fires in densely populated areas near Los Angeles, evacuating residents and burning tens of thousands of acres. Number seven, an active start to the spring severe season. On March 3rd, a powerful EF4 tornado passed through Eastern Alabama and Western Georgia. Yeah, Dad, hurry! Guys, hurry, hurry, hurry! This twister was on the ground for nearly 70 miles, packed winds of 170 miles per hour, and sadly claimed 23 lives and injured 90 others. More tornadoes touched down across the south during mid-March, followed by several rounds of severe weather into April. From Texas to Virginia, strong storms wreaked havoc in early spring. Number six, impactful severe weather in May. The season stayed active with more than 500 tornadoes reported during the month of May, nearly double the climatological average. Two rare EF4 tornadoes caused unthinkable damage in the Midwest, one in Dayton, Ohio, and another near Lawrence, Kansas. Our house is gone. The tornado just hit our house. Tornadic supercells also packed large hail and powerful winds, ravaging communities from the Great Plains to the Northeast. Number five, bomb cyclone. When a storm system's central pressure drops 24 millibars in 24 hours, this is known as bombogenesis. This ferocious March storm did it in just 16 hours, resulting in hurricane force winds, feet of snow, and tornadoes. In Colorado, over four feet of wind-driven snow fell in the mountains and a record low pressure of 970 millibars was observed. Winds gusted over 100 miles per hour in Texas while tornadoes hit the Ohio Valley. This storm also set the stage for catastrophic flooding in the Missouri and Mississippi River basins. Number four, Tropical Storm Imelda. This storm formed extremely fast on September 17th, going from a cluster of thunderstorms in the Gulf of Mexico to a landfalling tropical storm in just two hours. Imelda's slow movement and constant heavy rain led to disastrous flooding in an area of Texas hard hit by Hurricane Harvey just two years before. Homes and communities were submerged and thousands had to be rescued from the rising water. Number three, big city tornadoes. You may have heard that tornadoes only strike small towns in rural areas. This is just not true. In late May, an EF3 tornado tore through the capital of Missouri, Jefferson City. Less than a week later, a stronger EF4 tornado hit Dayton, Ohio after dark. Jumping ahead to September, three nighttime tornadoes hit South Dakota's largest city, Sioux Falls. Then in late October, a tornado caused EF3 damage on the north side of Dallas and neighboring suburbs. 
Finally in November, the Phoenix, Arizona metro area was hit by not one, not two, but three separate tornadoes. Number two, Missouri River and Mississippi River flooding. After the bomb cyclone in March, rivers rose to record levels throughout the Dakotas and Nebraska. Dozens of levee breaches allowed floodwaters to inundate entire communities, surrounding homes, washing away roads and railways, and destroying valuable farmland. The states of Kansas, Missouri, and Nebraska then witnessed their wettest May on record, with floodwaters funneling down the Mississippi River. Altogether, crop and property damage exceeded $12 billion. Number one, Hurricane Dorian. This deadly and historic hurricane had wide-reaching impacts from the Caribbean islands to Canada. Dorian will be remembered as the strongest and costliest storm to ever impact the Bahamas. After rapidly intensifying to a destructive Category 5 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 185 miles per hour, Dorian remained nearly stationary over the northern Bahamian islands on September 1st and 2nd. Wind and storm surge damage was widespread and heartbreaking. As Dorian neared the U.S., gusty winds, storm surge flooding, and spin-up tornadoes battered the southeast coast. Hurricane Dorian briefly made landfall in Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, with Category 1 winds on September 6th. The storm then moved north, bringing high surf to the mid-Atlantic and New England coasts before making landfall in Nova Scotia, Canada. With more wild weather events possible in 2020, join us for another year of outstanding team coverage. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Joe Astolfi.